G'day folks, it's like deja vu. I'm back in lockdown, it's still winter, and I'm gonna try and catch some winter yabbies. Hey you, you're watching Robbie Fishing. The only difference between this winter yabbying video and my last winter yabbying video is that I've got a heightened anticipation. Last time I came here, I was certain that I was gonna catch nothing. This time I normally would be, but on the back of the success of my last trip here, well, I'm suspecting that I might get lucky because I was very, very surprised last time to find a few midwinter yabbies in here. Anyway, this is in my five kilometre bubble by about 30 metres, I reckon. Let's put the nets in. Right, now this really is a bit like deja vu. Did you know that you can go to the website, I think it's coronavirus.vic.gov.au or .vic.com.au or something. There's actually a tool on there. You can actually look at it and see whether you're in your five kilometre bubble or not. And I'm in, honest to God, I reckon I'm in by no more than about 70 or 80 metres here. <laughs> There we go, both nets are baited up with a bit of fresh venison. Nice, bloody red meat. Right now, net number one. This is the net that caught all the yabbies last time. And that was just out here in front of these reeds. Right about there it was. The net that was over there didn't do any good, strangely enough. I've decided with net number two to come up this other side here. It's not as deep in here. Each summer when the water goes down, this bit dries up before that bit down there, but I wonder maybe if they come out of the deeper part up here into the shallower when there's water here looking for food. It's just a, a thought. So I'll just try it. I might as well catch nothing here as catch nothing down there where I caught nothing last time. <laughs> right, Afax, while the nets are in, can I have as much success as I had on my last lockdown midwinter yabbying adventure? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Righto folks, it's time for an impatient check winter style. Current time is 9.19. So they've been in about, about five hours. The five hour impatient check. Now this is the second one, the one that I put in up in the shallower part of the, the swamp. It's got a beetle. We've got a black beetle, but that's it. This is the net that caught all the yabbies last time. This is the spot. I've got a big one, big black one. <laughs> <laughs> He's under the wire. Yeah, you get buddy. Let go. He's actually got hold of both bits of wire inside the net. <laughs> Let go, mate. Frame. There we go. Look at that! You're a beauty! There we go folks, he's not the biggest, biggest yabby, but he's still quite a large yabby. Got an early one. On the impatient check, I'm on the board. Now I'll put the net back in and leave it there for the rest of the night. Check it tomorrow. Right folks, it's the morning after, and this is a bit of a concern. Why is my, uh, why is my bottle way up here on the high bank? Ugh. Anyway, it's the morning after. How have they gone in overnight? If there's nothing in this, well there is one in there. There's two, and one of them's enormous. That is a huge yabby. Look at the size of this big fella. Look at the size of that. 
that's a nice yabby sort of what I've been like what I've been getting and look at the side look at the big fat claws on it <laughs> I was just gonna say if there's nothing here I'll move it but there is something there look at that rule look at the meat on that tail look at the size of that claw huge big flat fat claws he is a beauty What an absolute ripper he is! You beauty! I'll put this net back exactly where it was. Now I'll put this back exactly where it was, which is just in there. Not very deep there. But there's yabbies there, and that's the main thing. And I'll put me string down here. It had moved, but I think what had happened was on a dead branch. I'm thinking maybe a bird or something may have gone landed on that branch and broken it or something. Anyway, let's go check the other one. This is the net that caught all the yabbies last time. So I know this spot can deliver the goods and I caught one last night too, didn't it? And today nothing. Well, there you go. I'll be bugging. There's no sign of that damaged one that I caught the first time I was here. There was one with a big claw mark in him. There's something big had grabbed it. But anyway, this time it's caught nothing. That's okay. I've got three in the first night and I'm happy with that. Considering it's the middle of winter, I think, well, that's in the middle of August, so it's still winter, I think that's still a bloody good effort. But I'm going to leave them in. I might come back and check them later on this afternoon, I think. Look at the size of that yabby, and look at the size of the claws on it. <laughs> that is a ripper. Rightio, it is 8.27, so it's been around about 11 hours since I checked these. I checked them about 9 o'clock this morning. Have they done any good during the day? I'm going to check these now, then tomorrow morning I'll pull them out. That'll be two full nights that they've had in the water. Right, here's the string. No, nothing. Maybe it's just because there's, maybe they don't like to come out during the daytime. There's nothing in it this time. You've got to remember, even though that's a bit disappointing, I've got to remind myself, it is winter. And usually I don't catch as many as I've been catching, so... Anyway, I'll put it back in. It's empty as well. Ah, very interesting. Looks like daytime is no good. Nothing. They've been in all day and nothing. I've been brought back to the reality of winter yabbying. <laughs> Even though it's disappointing that I didn't catch any after having them in there for close to 12 hours, it is just a reminder that it is still winter and the yabbing in winter is usually slow and I should expect to catch nothing. Anyway, I'm going to leave them in tonight and pull them out in the morning. Can I build on my tally of three? Let's find out in the morning. Okie dokie folkies, welcome back to the final check of the nets. And I'm so confident that I'm going to have something in one of these nets. And I'm going to put some water in the bucket now. Getting prepared. Put the water in first, that's how confident I am. Right, net number one. I'll throw it out a bit further this time. Did I feel something moving there then? Yes! I have got one. And it's the smallest one that I've caught. <laughs> but that's okay, and that takes me up to four. He's not a monster, but he's a yabby, and he's big enough, he'll do. Beauty! Well, he's okay. He's just okay. He's not a huge, but he's just okay. Right, -o, the last check of the last net. I've got one okay yabby, two nice size yabbies, and one monster. 
what can I get in the last net? Can I build on my total? Wouldn't two, two more nice ones would make a nice half dozen? Wouldn't that be nice? I don't think there's anything in it. I've bombed out. Well, right, folks, that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. I only caught four yabbies, but that's okay. Even though the sun's out and the sky's blue, it's still good to remember that it's only winter. It might look like spring, but it's not. It's still winter. <laughs> no, seriously, folks, it's winter. I'm happy with the four that I've got. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, I want to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Right, hey, thanks for coming along, fellas. That is a very large yabby. Thank you for playing a part in my magazine article. I'll bring you out a copy of the magazine when it's published so that you can see your photos printed. Ha 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 ha.